All right, this one's going to be on RetroShare. It is an open source, cross-platform, private and secure, decentralized communication platform. What does that all mean? It basically means you can do more than just file sharing. <laughs> so, um, give me a little description of what they have in here. So you can actually do chatting. So basically like IRC, you can do email, of course, file sharing. So like Kazaa, you know, Napster and stuff like that. Forums, uh, I think everyone knows how to use forums. Boards, so these ones are like uh, Reddit. You know, you do upvote, downvote. Channels, not really like YouTube, but you get the idea, like YouTube kind of thing. Uh, you can connect this over Tor or I2P, so it'll actually, uh, you know, um, maybe um, hide your IPs. Maybe not a guarantee, but that's the uh, idea to be anonymous. And it's probably going to be really slow over Tor or I2P, so you probably don't want to share, like, large files. Maybe just chatting and regular stuff, that'll be okay. Uh, I haven't tried that, so I'm not really sure. Anyways, uh, next thing is you can do voice and video, which I don't think has been added yet, so it's still experimental. But hopefully in the future it will be, you know, like uh, Skype or Zoom. Um, so that's it for the features they got in here. Now, the biggest hurdle of this program, uh, unlike, you know, traditional P2P clients where either it's centralized or decentralized, so centralized, you would actually connect to a server, and then from that server, you can actually search to all your peers, right? Uh, or if it's decentralized, you have nodes that, um, you know, like uh, clients like AMU will automatically connect to different nodes um, so that you can actually search files between the nodes. In here, it's all manual. You actually had to add each one of your friends manually before you can actually communicate with them. And that can be a secure kind of thing because you can only add friends that you actually trust. In my case, I have no friends here. So we're going to add random people on the internet. And uh, if you ever use the Nintendo Wii friend code, that's basically what we're doing here, right? You got to send your friend code and um, they got to, you know, add you and all that. So this is your friend code. There's a little black one here. Uh, and actually you copy the code here. And you can actually, you know, send this to, you know, email, chat or whatever it is. Or even um, if you go to the uh, RetroShare subreddit and you can make a new post. Or if someone already um, has their you know, code or their ID, I mean, um, you can actually just copy it. So copy this and, you know, add a friend. Basically you copy, paste, next, finish, wait for it to do its thing and hit okay. It'll do that in the background. And after you add a lot of people, you should sh uh, see it in like maybe your networks here, All right? And you can see that uh, I have some friends here They'll show up, and the more you got, the more files you can search from, you know. Uh, people, so as far as the chat here, you know, traditional like IRC kind of thing, so you can chat if you want, right? Uh, email, I think everyone knows how to use email, so I'm going to explain that. Uh, they do have channels. This one's kind of like YouTube. Like I said, you can subscribe to other channels in here. Honestly, most of people in here, they don't even post anything. So you got to find the right one. But, you know, they'll post it. And if there's a download or something like that, uh, you can actually download. All right, they have downloads. Um, now, the forums, what you want to do here to get more keys... Um, they do have different forms for key exchange. So this one's a key exchange. This one's a retro share key exchange. So, you know, whatever forms you have in here, just go um, check out the key exchange. And here you can actually post a new thread. So if you have your key um, copied it, right, you copy your key. 
uh, you can go in, uh, was it the forums? Yeah, in the forums here, right? Make sure you subscribe to um, the channel. So let's say, for example, I want to subscribe to it. So after you subscribe to it, you can actually go in here, post a new thing, you know, whatever it is, and then paste in your uh, code. Uh, and then that's how you would, um, you know, uh, make it show up in here. Now, I'm not sure why I, I, I posted mine. Some of these people, they have like way more um, better link than me. Like, how do you generate this one here? RetroShare certificate. All right. Some people have a link. So that means you can just click on it and then hit finish. And this is how you would make a friend or add a friend. And then let us do this thing in the back end. All right. Uh, so that's how you would add code to either manually or there's a link. Uh, up to you how you want to do that anything else here so this one is the boards here and like I said this one's like reddit or dig.com where you do upvote and downvote um, and you would have to go and subscribe to the channels most of these channels are dead so you know up to you if you want to check out whatever it is but in here um, you can do you might have to do synchronize because, you know, some of them are not uh, synchronized by default. So you synchronize, you might have to wait like a couple of minutes before it even shows anything. Depending on what it is, if it's abandoned or not. But here we go. See, these are um, kind of like Reddit. Um, where they'll post, you know, whatever it is. Uh, and then these ones are your activities. I cleared mine already. But basically, these are your notifications. And, um, you know, if you want to clear it, then you do remove all, which I already done. So that's pretty much it for um, the different features they have. They don't have the um, the voice over IP yet, but um, they might have that in the future. Anyways, uh, as far as file sharing, um, I'll give you an example here. So if I search for Ubuntu, now if you want to search like... Um, by default, they have 100, but you can do like, you know, whatever it is, like 300 here. So you can change the max results. And if I search for Ubuntu, search it here, um, they'll give us 300 results, right? And if I want to download stuff, uh, you can actually filter it out at the bottom here too. So if I want to search for only uh, CD images, then uh, it'll filter it out. And if I want to download any of these, I just double click on it. So this Kubuntu one here, I can double click on that. And it should show up in, um, what was that, my download tab here? Why is this not downloading though? Okay, let's do another one. Uh, let's do server. Is that one coming in there? Okay, there you go. Start downloading those. Delete this other one. So you see it starts downloading. Now I'm behind firewall. You see these two um, red icons at the bottom here, whatever. You can see that it says uh, disable firewall. I, I'm i pretty sure I opened all my ports properly. I even used UPnP, even try manually port forwarding. It's just not working. I think I'm using the app image and that's the reason why it's not working properly. But I'm downloading nonetheless, even though I'm behind firewall right and that's because of the friends i made so this one i'm tunneling over this uh person's connection because they have you know properly configured their ports and firewall and everything and i can still download maybe not the fastest but i can still download even though i'm behind firewall and i can still download from um you know a tunnel system so that's a good thing if you have more friends um you can actually tunnel between them like this person look like i can tunnel you know between any of these computers here right so there you go that's how you would download even though i'm over firewall or behind firewall i mean uh as far as the network i you know i tried it public i tried it the upmp which works fine on my other uh, programs i talked about in the past uh, I even tried manually port forwarding, but it just it, it just never turned green at the bottom here. So I'm not sure, exactly sure, but I'm thinking it's just the app image, right? Anyways, that's really all you gotta do to um, set this up, and those are mostly the features. 
And like I said, this one works uh, cross platform, so it will work on Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and these are the app images I use. Although you probably want to use like your native one, depending on your distribution, um, you probably have better results. Um, what else is there? So they have you know flat pack, Raspbian if you have Raspberry Pi. So it works just about every um, systems out there. Um, what else do I need to say about this? Not really. Like I said, the the biggest hurdle of this program is manually adding folks. All right, we friend code. Remember that? That's what you gotta do here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's how I've been downloading files. Some of these files in here uh, doesn't exist on the internet anymore, so it's good to get it from uh, people. And if you want to do, they do have like a a magnet link kind of thing in here. So if I want to say, let's say for example, can I do it here? Okay. I can right click on any of these files, right? And I can say, um, copy RetroShare link. And you know, if I want to paste it over email, whatever it is, or even in a chat room, I can just paste it and they'll understand what it is and I can send it and then people can click on it and just go download it, right? So that's how you can do with the, um, I guess magnet link for retro share here. Uh, anything else in here? This one does allow you to do multiple searches. Let's see, Fedora, and they have like a tab system kind of thing. So, for example, oh no, I'm gonna do. Let me clear that one here. Remove all. We want to do any, and we'll do uh, Fedora here. All right. So look at that, that we can search one and we search uh, Ubuntu again. So, you know, you can have your old results and your new results and you can toggle between them and more if you want. So that's a good thing about this. If you want to search multiple things and still see the list, right? And download it. Uh, anything else I need to say? Now, if you have friends, you can actually browse their content, kind of like uh, what you did in Napster and stuff like that, right? So let's say, for example, this person, I can see what they got. Uh, I can see what they got and so on and so forth. If you want to download directly from your friends list, real simple. Uh, anything else I need to say? So this is where my shares are at. So if I want to share stuff, then uh, I'll add it in here. Um, that's mainly what I use, just the file sharing aspects. Uh, I'm not really going to use it for, you know, chatting or anything like that. Anyways, a little bit more involved if you want to use it for uh, P2P or if you just want to use it with your close friends, that's probably the best solution is just using with, uh, you know, a couple of people. So this one's kind of like a, a private, BitTorrent uh, tracker or something like that if you just have it with people that you trust Otherwise if you put some random people uh, you have more files to choose from all right and um, Yeah, that's it for this one, you know, uh, go get it for your system. Try it out uh, as far as adding p folks um, It's gonna take time. So, you know put your ID out there and maybe wait a week or two like that to get more people and uh, definitely you need to go to your the forums and subscribe to uh, you know this forum here for a key exchange and add as many people as you can if you're using it for file sharing if you're using it for personal things like uh, just a couple of friends then uh, you don't need to do any of these stuff that I talked about right anywho that's it for this one